Eagles Project, a worldwide online empowerment training and resource center with a vision of building men and women to become creators of wealth to their family and society at large. The Eagle Project is built on the foundation of a very simple concept, creating a solid, enduring mentoring and partnership platform for successful people to help aspiring ones, eaglets, to achieve their goals in life. To become a mentor, a mentee, or a partner in the Eagles Project, log in to www dot making the eagle dot com go to get involved in the drop down tab select either become an eagle or become an eaglet or become a partner the registration page will show up filling your details with a valid email account as that is the basis for assigning the right mentor or mentee to your account click on the submit button once your detailed information have been certified okay a login detail will be sent to your email account to explore your dashboard hurry now this is the total gospel for the total man. You become the total man that God created you to be by the total gospel. The total gospel is the word of God. Join God's servants, Reverend Daniel Sunday Akimbelure, the general overseer and senior pastor of the Total Gospel Bible Church Incorporated, Lagos, Nigeria, as he unveils the secret keys to irresistible breakthroughs in all areas of your life through the machinery of God's Word. It is your turn for a turnaround in Jesus' mighty name. Now the Reverend. Welcome to From Glory to Glory, Part 6. From Glory to Glory, Part 6. Welcome to From Glory to Glory, Part 6. God created you for glory. And God designed and program you in the journey of life to move from glory to glory. The devil desires you to remain and begin to wallow in corruption in life. We have seen the factors and the forces that keep a man in the land of corruption. We have seen the characteristics of corruption. We have seen the power that moves men from corruption to corruption. We have seen the power that moves men from glory to corruption. We have seen the power that moves men from corruption to glory. Last week, we began to examine the dynamics of movement from glory to glory in life. Tonight, I will start the journey with you on the forces and the factors that makes a man to begin to command from glory to glory in life. So I'll be talking to you on glory commanding powers. Glory commanding powers. The forces and the factors that move a man from glory to glory. Glory to glory, glory to glory. The first of the factors that I want to share together with you tonight is the force of deep relationship with God. Deep relationship with God. Deep relationship with God. I read Exodus chapter 24, verses 15 to 18. Exodus 24, 15 to 18. And Moses went up into the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. 17. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. 
And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and guard him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount forty days and forty nine. Laba Sutaya. Baptism into God is one of the commanders of glory in life. God himself is called the God of glory. Is the glorious God. God dwells in glory. The habitation of God is glory. So accompanying the presence of God at all times is glory. You can't display and manifest and live in glory in life if you have no intimacy with God. Wow. The moon has no light of himself. The moon is opaque. The light you see coming from the moon is reflected from the sun. It is the angle that the moon turns to the sun that determines the light that is generated and emitted from the, from the moon to the earth. So the moon has no light of its own. No, every man is like the moon. God is the sun. The glory you will exhibit and demonstrate upon the face of the earth is the one that is reflected to you from God. Just like the light is reflected to the moon and the moon relay and display it to the earth. In the same way, the glory a man will exhibit upon the face of the earth is the one that will be reflected or transferred to him from God who is the son the son of righteousness. So relationship with God, affection for God, partnership with God, intimacy with God, fellowship with God, koinonia with God, becomes the first indispensable ingredient, the first indispensable resource, material, for the manifestation and the display of glory upon the face of the earth. Moses went on top of the mound in his affection for God, in his walking relationship with God. Wow. We were told that the glory of God descended upon Mount Sinai. The sight of the glory of God was like a devouring fire before the sight of all of the children of Israel. Moses entered into the midst of the cloud and then became baptized with the glory of God. Exodus chapter 24. No wonder Moses began to command from glory to glory until the day he breathed his last breath upon the face of the earth. By the time he died, in Exodus chapter 34, the Bible said, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died. He was 120 years old. His eyes were not dim. His natural force was not abated. Calabosa. His physiology has become divine. His eyes were not dim. His natural force was not abated. You know why? He's a glory commander. He commanded glory. He was one of such men that moved in the journey of life from glory to glory. He died. God did not allow corruption to see him. Alabosa. So, we didn't know whether, whether he decayed or not. Because the Bible said, God buried him. No man knew of his sepulchre up to today. You can't go to a sepulchre to so go and exhume his dead body. 
We didn't know where I was buried. The children of Israel for 30 days made a search party to locate his corpse. They couldn't find him. They couldn't locate his corpse. They couldn't bury him. Bible says God buried him. No man knew of his sepulchre today because God buried him. Ah! That is glory personified upon the face of the earth. Adam was wired in glory. Created in glory. By the time Adam turned against God by willful disobedience to God's commanded instructions, the glory of God left him. Immediately the glory of God left Adam. The Bible says his eyes were open and he saw that he was naked. Adam walked around in the garden and caught fig leaves, banana leaves to cover himself, to cover his nakedness. He became naked. He was exchanging the glory of God for fig leaves. How long can leave cover a man? God called unto him, Adam, Adam. He said, I heard your voice. I saw I was naked. I was afraid. I hid myself. The glory of God has left him. Glory left him. Where glory leaves a man, shame and reproach and disgrace appear. When, the glo- when glory leaves a man, ignominy appears. The man becomes the man becomes valueless. The man becomes empty and worthless. The man is not accorded any kind of value again in life. The man and the madman are equal. Glory has left him. It is, a, it is glory that gives a man worth and value and meaning and significance in life. Glory. When you discover that you cannot... You cannot command value again. When you declare that you are living in shame and reproach all around. It's not education. It's not money. Glory has left you. Glory left Adam. No more value. No more worth. No more significance. No more meaning. He was looking for fig leaves to cover himself. Glory has left him. And what attaches glory to a man is your affection for God and your relationship with God. The moment God has left you, you become a walking sepulcher, a living cemetery. Glory left Eli and his sons, Ophni and Phinehas. All of them died the one day. Ophni and Phinehas died with Eli the same day. You know why? Glory led them. Because the glory of God is the defense of a man. When glo- the glory of God leaves you, you are defenseless. You have no covering. A, a tiny virus can kill you in a second. Glory has left you. The security of a man, the defense of a man, the immunity of a man against assault and attacks and disasters in life is the glory of God. When we look at 1 Samuel chapter 4, from verses 19 to 22, we were told that when the, the wives, when, the, when Ophni and Phine has died, the wife of one of them gave birth, they gave the name of that boy, Ichabod. 1 Samuel chapter 4, verses 19 to 22. Ichabod means glory has left. Glory has left. The glory of God left Samson. Judges chapter 16, verses 20 to 21. The glory of God left Samson instantly. Samson, the mighty man that used his bare hand to uproot the gate of the city. The man that used bare hand to tear a lion. The man that used his hand to tie the tail of 300 foxes. Wow. The man that used his hand to break chains that were tied by 3,000 men. The glory of God left him and he became a toy in the hand of his enemies. Glory. Your asset in the journey of life, your security and your guarantee 
for life and destiny. Your, your security for from glory to glory is deep relationship with God. That your relationship with God is intact. That there is no disconnection between you and God. Therefore, to continue to command from glory to glory, you must stay glued to God. Be born again. Confess your sins. Accept Jesus Christ. Confess him as Lord and Savior of your life. Turn away from sin and turn to God. Begin to live a holy and righteous life. Not a life of hypocrisy and dubiety. Not a, not a life of perversion and lying and, and, and unrighteousness. No. They, those, those lifestyles will succeed to generate more corruption for you, not glory. Stay with God. Continue with God in service. As you become born again, and you are committed to God, commit your life to service before God. Walk with God by the covenant. As you continue these experiences and this last time, you will be moving from glory to glory. You will continue to become relevant. You will not be outdated. You will not be obsolete. You will continue to be impactful. And you continue to be effective in the journey of life. I am so sure that you want to begin to come out from glory to glory experience in life. I want to pray together with you. And I'm so sure that you want to be the eternal goodbye to corruption. I want to pray together with you that from glory to glory experience will become your normal lifestyle as from today. And then you will see yourself ascending increasingly the altitudes of life. You won't crash you won't fail and you, you will not fall. You will not become another Adam. You will not become another Ophne and Phinehas. You will not become another Samson. You will not become another Saul. You will be moving from glory to glory like Moses. You will be moving from glory like glory like Peter. As you renew and service and strengthen your walking relationship with your maker, God, as from today, rise your feet. I like you to begin to say, I like you to just pray one or two prayers as I pray together with you. But peradventure, you want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of, love, of your life so that you can be connected to your maker. I like you to just say these prayers after me. Say, Lord Jesus, call me to my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I confess you as Lord and Savior of my life. I believe you came into this world and died for me on the cross of Calvary. I pledge my faith in you. Call me to my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I promise to serve you from now on to the end of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Then I want you to pray. Pray this prayer one more time. Power to move from glory to glory. From now till Jesus will come. Call, fall upon me right now by fire. Power to move from glory to glory. From now till Jesus will come. Fall upon me right now by fire. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lamba Santalia. Lord God Jehovah, I pray for power to move from glory to glory. Power to move from glory to glory. Power to move from glory to glory. After the order of Moses. After the order of Peter. After the order of Paul. Power to move from glory to glory. Power to move from glory to glory. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. Fall upon me right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I like you to pray. Every spirit that is making effort to uproot me from the place of divine planting. Every power on a mission to uproot me from the place of divine planting, to displace me in the journey of life, to, to, to pursue me and move me from, away from where God has designed and planted me. You, that power, what are you waiting for? Be wasted by fire. Leave me alone. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes, Lord Jesus, I, pr I pray now against every power that is on a mission to move me from the place of divine planting. 
every power that wants to uproot me from the land of divine planting, every power on a mission to move me from the place of divine planting, to displace me in the journey of life, to make me who God did not wire and design me to be, I command you to be rendered powerless and impotent in the affairs of my life. Be wasted now by fire in the name of Jesus. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to break the covenant the covenant with Ichabod on account of your life. I want you to say every covenant with Ichabod, every covenant with the glory has departed on account of my life. Break by fire in the name of your go ahead and begin to pray. Lamba Santalia. I break every covenant with Ichabod. Every covenant with the glory has departed. Glory has departed. I break the covenant on account of my life and my destiny. In my lifetime, the glory of God will not leave me. Hey, the glory of God will not leave me. Glory will not depart from me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Glory will not depart from me. The glory of God will not depart from me. In my lifetime, I shall exhibit glory throughout in my lifetime. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, I want you to pray. Lord God, Jehovah. As from tonight, things will begin to get better for me. Things that have become ruined and, 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 and bad and tough will be amended, will be healed, will be corrected. Lord God, Jehovah, as from today, things will continue to get better. I am moving from, from better to best. I am moving from good to better, from better to best, from best to perfect. In every area of my life, beginning from today, Lord, let your grace and your anointing rest upon my life to accomplish it. I am moving from today, from good to better, from better to best, from best to perfect. Go ahead and begin to pray. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lamba Santalia. Malik Ayan Taliba Kuriaba. Yes, Lord Jesus. As from today, I am asking that your common grace will rest upon the affairs of my life. I am moving from good to better, from better to best, from best to perfect. It is getting better for me with each passing day, getting better for me. Things are getting better for me. Things are getting better for me. Lord God, Jehovah, heal every sick area of my life. Heal, restore every, every sick area, every diverted, perverted area of my life. Heal me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Heal me, Lord. Deliver me, Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to pray for you. I'd like you to place your two hands upon your head and I pray for you. Lord, thank you for all my viewers. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I heal every infirmity, every affliction, every discomfort, every ailment, every pain, every wound. Every, every injury, every affliction, every arrow, every oppression, every pain in any area of your life, I declare your healings now. I declare your deliverance. I declare your liberty. The Lord heals you. The Lord restores you. The Lord liberates you in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the yoke of the bandage of corruption in every area of your life. I put the garment of glory to envelope you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Adam went to sow fig leaves when he became naked. But the Almighty God killed an animal and removed the skin of the animal and covered the nakedness of Adam. I decree right now, supernaturally, that your nakedness be covered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That God intervene in your situation. That God shall arise in your situation and turn things around for you. Receive a major miracle. Receive your healing from that infirmity, from that sickness. Let your, let your, let, let your finances and your business be restored back to you. I command healing in your home. Healing in your marriage. Healing in your relationship. I command healing now. You that sister. That the courtship is dangling now. I heal that relationship now. And I command the devil to hands up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command healing in your body. Healing in your academics. I command healing in the work of your hand. Healing in your ministry. Healing in your spiritual life. Healing in every area of your life. Receive healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The hand of God rests upon your life. Receive your healing and your deliverance. Let it be well with you. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are praying. Amen. 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 God bless you.
Thank you for watching. I hope you have been richly blessed by this message. The Lord will keep blessing you till the end of time in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to watch this message again or a lot of very many of our messages, visit our YouTube channel at Total Gospel TV. You have access to a lot of our messages that will bless you and enrich your life. For inquiries, for prayers, and for counseling, call any of the numbers on the, on the screen or visit any of our social media handles and we shall get back to you. But adventure, you want to give your life to Jesus? You want Jesus to become Lord and Savior of your life? I want to pray together with you. Can you just place your right hand upon your chest as I pray with you? Father, thank you for these ones that are giving their life to Jesus. I am asking that the salvation of God will enter into your life. I uproot you from the soil of the kingdom of darkness. I transplant you upon the soil of the kingdom of God. I uproot the seed of Adam from you and plant the divine nature inside of you. The Lord will keep you. Let your name be written in the book of life. You will not drop back to perdition. You will stand to the saving of souls. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I'd like to advise you to take time to attend the Bible-believing church where you will hear more of the word of God and faith will be generated in you and you'll be established in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to worship with us, just look at any of the branches that is nearest to you and attend any of these of our program, programs. Our pastors are highly anointed. They are waiting for you. By the grace of God, God, God will use them for a turnaround in the story of your life and it shall be well with you. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for this hour. Thank you for all my viewers. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the hand of God will rest upon your life. Evil hands pointing to you, I command them to wither. I command amazing doors of miracle and testimony to open for you this week. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke the devil to hands off your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I envelope you with the garment of unprecedented divine favor. Help and fortune will locate you this week. This week shall be an amazing week in your life. It shall be a week of divine intervention and divine remembrance. Your story will never remain the same again. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. By the grace of the Almighty God, I will still see you on this same channel, this same time next week. Before that time, God will visit you. You have a major miracle and a major testimony. It shall be well with you. God bless you.